So I'm joined by Romanian top female player, uh, Irina Bulmaga. Irina, I hope I pronounced your name correctly this time. You did great. Hi. <laughs> so this is the second game of day uh, of round one. You have uh, won the two games. I thought you played quite convincingly today. Give me your assessment of the two games and who are you going to face in the next round and what do you think about the situation? Well, I think I played um, quite well uh, yesterday and today as well. Of course, it's always uh, easier to play after a win. Uh, but, you know, going into this match, I was thinking that my opponent is much uh, lower rated, but um, I still had to not uh, underestimate her. And uh, I'm happy with, uh, with the chess I played uh, so far. So you are... Um Romania's uh, strongest female player, seven Olympians, I've counted, sure. <laughs> um, at least, maybe even um, second time here in the in the World Cup. Did you play in Sochi or was it before? Yes, I did play in Sochi. How did you go in Sochi? Uh, I was out in the second round, actually. Uh, I started in the second round because I was uh, top 25 yep. then. Uh, and, uh, okay, being my first World Cup, it felt rather strange. Uh, so uh, this uh, this time I'm uh, much more relaxed and I know what to expect. Mm -hmm. So uh, I feel I'm more experienced right now. Well, talking about what you're going to expect, tomorrow you have a rest day because it's uh, tie breaks, which you don't have to do. Who are you facing in the second round? Uh, I think there's a big chance I will face uh, Estonian player Narva Mai. Um, because she won yesterday. Uh, I don't know how she will do today, but uh, I guess uh, she's my most likely uh, opponent. So you will still be on paper theoretically the favorite in the match. You're not playing against one of the seeded players that come in. Uh, yeah, by rating, I will be favorite. Um, Irina, you play a lot of chess. You go from tournament to tournament. I follow you on Twitter, also on uh, social media. How's the life of a professional chess player, but not at the real top of the tournament where you can go to the close tournaments? How do you, how do you cope? How, how, how's the day to day? Uh, well, uh, I feel like uh, I'm a very active player. So sometimes I'm, I feel I'm too active, but well, uh, I guess there are two approaches, either to prepare more for the most important tournament and play less or uh, to kind of keep the form by playing a lot. And uh, I enjoy this life. Um, it's not an easy one, but uh, that's uh, the one I've chosen for myself. And uh, well, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I do play uh, quite some leagues. I've been uh, very lucky with very nice teams uh, around the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I just enjoy playing chess. My last question. I know you've been quite vocal with your stance uh, on women's chess and what fee they can or can't do to uh, promote and to push for the development of women's chess in the global um, in the global chess uh, world. Tell me about your thoughts and uh, take advantage to say what you think could be improved or things that you don't think are working well. Well, uh, mm, there's been a lot of talk indeed about women's chess and. Uh, I really like um, uh, the idea of women being able to compete in uh, open tournaments, but, you know, I mean, they've always been able to compete in open tournaments. The idea is that uh, for them to be it financially possible. So my idea is that uh, FIDE could uh, increase actually the prices for women in uh, top open events. And by that, uh, the women will get strong opposition mm -hmm and also uh, the possibility to earn, uh, to make a living basically. Mm -hmm. uh, because many times you go to an open and the top price is like uh, 200 or 300 euros and that's uh, not viable for yeah. uh, a month's earnings to say so. And uh, yeah, I believe that also from a very young age, uh, both uh, coaches and families should uh, encourage girls to participate in um, open tournaments. Mm -hmm. I know that many girls don't feel comfortable doing so because there are very little of them uh, playing in open sections. I mm -hmm. mean, close to none, <laughs> to, to be honest. But uh, I believe that uh, mm, all these uh, things which have been said um, 
about making uh, everyone aware of the problems which women encounter and little girls also when playing in the open sections have somehow uh, brought their attention uh, at the existing problems and I think that uh, slowly things uh, should improve and by the way uh, um, I watched uh, your yesterday's interview with Aline mm -hmm. and I just wanted to take this chance to wish her good luck uh, at the coming uh, here and also the coming European uh, Open Section, uh, the European Youth Fund. I think uh, uh, it's great what she's doing and uh, I think maybe if uh, I could go back in time, I would do the same thing. <laughs> it's very refreshing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.